well hello and everybody welcome back to another first look video uh, this time for the newly released hoofdstrekken moenig amsterdam rood uh, that is available from ttc uh, just a week after release of the eye of white uh, you can now drive a new german route also out today uh, at least on the 22nd uh, is the um, Preserve Collection number 4. Preserve Collection number 4 consists of the Ockville Subdivision, the Rijnroe Austin Route, and the West Somerset Railway. On the West Somerset Railway, you also get the class 33 and the class 52 if you own them. And on the main special bahn, you also get the BR204. That is also available. And on the Rango Often there are no extra DLC. And the Oakville Subdivision doesn't also feature additional DLC. Uh, with the Rango Austin route, it should be uh, that on the uh, Schnellfahrstrecke Keulen uh, there should be uh, more service. There are now 222 timetabled services available, including the BR422 uh, with the S Bahn train. And it seems that indeed those DLC, uh, for this DLC adds um, the S-Bahn services, uh, which adds to the number 222 on the Snelfatje Trekke, Köln, uh, Aachen. Uh, for, the, uh, for the purpose of this video, we are going to look at the Hauptstrecke München Augsburg Road. Uh, it's a 62 kilometer route of, uh, that runs from uh, München Hauptbahnhof to Augsburg uh, Hauptbahnhof. It's a classic one that is, has been available for years and is an actual TS Classic uh, train sim DLC. Uh, it includes the DB BR403 ICE3 EMU in the DB ICE Deutschland Schnellster Klimaatschutzer. Uh, Schutzer, Schutzer uh, livery with the, with the green uh, arrow on the front. It's not the BR406 that comes with the Schnellfahrstrecke, but it's the, uh, the 403, which is for internal use only, internal Germany use only, as it only features the, the one system. It also comes with the BR423 uh, in S-Bahn München livery, uh, which is a modernized uh, 423. Uh, it also includes, of course, the journey mode, five detailed and engaging scenarios, as they like to call it, as well as 100 road tasks, including roadmaps, cycle maintenance points, fixing electric cabinets and repairing emergency telephones. That one is new. It also features, of course, the uh, training module and a 24-hour timetable service. This also adds, if you are on PC, it also adds additional layers with services. Uh, if you are on console, uh, you won't see this, uh, these uh, layers yet. You only get the 4.3 and 4.2.3 available on the route because of the, uh, the layering issues uh, with uh, related to, I think it was memory. Um, I'm always running it on a PC. I don't own a console, so uh, that is why you will uh, see the extra liveries. Let's jump into the uh, to the route. Uh, maybe it does a route introduction. Then we're going to watch that one and do that one, and then go on to uh, driving some trains. Otherwise, uh, we'll, I will see you in just a few seconds. It's going to load, so enjoy. Welcome to Train Sim World 2, the immersive and highly detailed rail simulation featuring authentic routes and trains from around the world. You've just been awarded some action points. These are displayed in the top right corner of the screen and count towards your overall experience. It is necessary to be fully observant of the surrounding world. Practice by looking up, down, left and right. Thank you. 
Besides operating trains, there are lots of requirements to navigate on foot. Try moving around now. This is one of many interactives to be discovered, but not all of them will be as easy to find as this one. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, the introduction. Uh, uh, well, it's not over yet, but uh, it's the same as uh, uh, any other introduction, just and uh, yeah. For this road, we have collectibles. Uh, this is a known issue. I hope it's fixed. The clock is stuck at, at noon, uh, but it was also on the preview uh, as well. Now the ICE 3 is rolling in with the uh, Deutschland Schnellste Klimaschützer livery, as you can see. It's an ICE 3. Enter the lead carriage. Well, let's move to the other side of the train. Well, let's run. <laughs> Pretty long. Ooh, does somebody want some uh, something, some snacks? I think we're going to um, enjoy the uh, uh, a few views from outside the train, inside the train, and then uh, with which collectibles there are in. Let's get in. Is it possible to uh, to enable the lights? Yes. It's a little bit busy. Well, otherwise we're going to sit here. Uh, excuse me. Thank you. Come up, you can pause the experience at any point and review previous and current objectives. Check it out now, then return to the game when ready. Well, it's the, the same pause menu as always. Overview, the schedule, task lock, staff door, follow up marker to the staff door. Enter the cap. That is the bleep we already heard. Then otherwise, it should be enabled the cap. But, uh, and it's always the same. Yes. A lot of time will be spent operating trains, so when ready, sit in the driver's seat. A heads-up display has appeared on the right side of the screen. This is a guide to what the train is doing. It's a modern a train. Display. The current <coughs> speed will be represented by a moving bar. The red marker indicates the current maximum permitted speed. This is the direction display. An arrow will indicate forward, reverse and neutral directions. This is the power display. A number will indicate what position the power control is in. These are brake indicators. They show the state of the various brake systems allowing independent management of them. In the top right are the signal and speed limit displays. These feature an indication of what is approaching and a countdown distance to when they will come into effect. 
Some of these displays can be hidden via the settings menu for a more challenging experience. This train is ready to go. Push the indicated handle all the way forward to get moving. Well, one thing you already noticed uh, on this train, there's no actual, indeed, no international one. There is indeed uh, the MFD, but also the modern uh, display instead of the old analog uh, dials. So uh, let's get moving. It sounds the same, but yeah, it's an ICE 3. Munchen Central Station is the southern tip of a high speed rail network providing fast, efficient travel all over Germany. This particular train features eight cars. Each one has traction motors located between the axles for a lighter, faster and more efficient operation. It automatically moves my uh, the key back. We'll wait for the further announcements. Oh, it's struggling a little bit. It was always the issue on train sim as well because there are much uh, track. Ride and drive from an internal and external viewpoint. Let's take a look now while this train is in motion. Niet einstijgen. We've only explored a small area here, so let's take a look at what else there is to enjoy. Welcome to Bavaria in southern Germany. Climb aboard both international and local trains that service a highly modern multi-track railway. Race along at up to 230 km an hour operating under the control of the LZB signalling system. And keep the travelling public moving with the high capacity BR423 S-Bahn trains. Sleek Express or Mass Transit, you're in the driver's seat. Along the way, don't forget to place route maps, install bicycle maintenance points, maintain trackside equipment, and repair damaged emergency telephones. This is Halbstrecker München Ausberg. Well, eight minutes and eight seconds, eight oh eight. <laughs> level two already on the Halbstrecker, and almost level two on the four three. Well, let's go to the main menu uh, of this route and then we can take a look of what else is included in the route. Uh, we're going to load in a uh, small scenario. I think we're going to do uh, both tutorials and then we will see what we'll do further. Um, one job already. The three trainings, uh, BR423 and the ICE3 introductions. Uh, you can also explore on foot as well as five scenarios. Wash and go is actually the same scenario as the original one. I see it trouble, commuter confusion, power predicaments, and the S Bahn shut down. It's the final scenario, at, I think, of the day. Uh, of the day, 427 services are available. Remember. This is on PC. On console, you only get the 403 and the uh, 423. If you are on PC, you can also enjoy, if you have the uh, the 
correct uh, additional layers installed. Uh, they, they come automatically enabled if you uh, have the uh, current DLC installed for the BR185.2. Uh, you can uh, go into the Rail Raylion livery or the DB livery as well. Uh, the BR146.2, uh, the 766.2 DB PB ZFA, uh, double uh, duster wagon, double stock wagon. You can also change for the 767.2 and the 767.2 some. Uh, DB livery, uh, it's two different routes, but it's the same number. Uh, the 4.3, uh, of course. Yeah. Also, you can also see 27 services for the 15 for the 146, 15 for the Tosto, 272 services for the 423, 53 for the ICE3. The 425 is available for 32 services one of my uh, well it's a nice train to drive uh, you also have 27 services for the 182 uh, i don't know i think it is only yes it's only uh, freight services um of course the the one and only br143 with 28 services we are 155 for 27 and 185.5 with 13 services so we have a lot of a uh, uh, lot of um, well choice to uh, to do anything uh, with the game most of the services it it, it are the same services just with an, uh, another logo attached so uh, yeah, you can you can also uh, always enjoy the BR Photo Grid. You're going to take a look at what's available for the services. As you can see, S4, S3, S4, S3. It seems there are only S4 and S3 services for this one. Mostly uh, München, uh, Trüding, uh, Mammendorf, uh, Geltendorf, uh, Holzkirchen. And, and so on. There are a lot of services available which you can drive. Uh, the BR uh, with this one. You can drive the real ICE numbers uh, from Depot uh, to München, Dortmund, uh, Berlin Gesundbrunnen, uh, Erfurt, Nuremberg. But most of this are to. Um, München and otherwise Frankfurt and so on. Those are the services that are available on this on this route. Uh, of course, you have the journey mode. Speeding through life is called this one. You have three chapters. Chapters is introduction and experiences. Um, and you have the chapter two, starting off strong. And you have chapter three, expert handling. Uh, it seems that now chapter 3, the race and uh, journey mode icon for ICE3, but only S1 services. Chapter 2 is uh, ICE services, and chapter 1, it seems you start with the 4 to 3, then you do the wash and go. But I don't know if this should be turned around as the BR43 ICE3 3 introduction should be ahead of the wash and go as wash and go is an i think it was the uh, the 403 scenario yeah prepare an early morning ice eat services hmm. we will see. Uh, let's uh, start with the br43 and let's close off this video with the br403 introductions br423 Welcome to driver training here at München Passing. Today you'll be learning to drive this BR423 electric multiple unit in DB traffic red livery. 
This brief introduction will cover critical driving controls and passenger operations. Climb aboard to get started. Nothing on that one. These are the new uh, displays. It is full color. So. Take a seat in the driver's position. This is where you'll be Ooh. spending most of your time. Ooh, modern. To activate the control desk, insert the reverser. The reverser is used to set the direction of travel. Take a quick glance of the platform to ensure all is safe, then unlock the doors. Put some lights on. Some passenger lighting. Uh, marker lights. No actual high beams. I don't think there are actual high beams used in the daylight. Uh, it seems we're going to. It's time to get going. Mention. I think we can also set this one. Good eingeben, zoek verbinden. Four. Op de Bahnhof. Oké. Okay. Let's go. I'm not putting on the PCB uh, and the LCB. Uh, there is indeed LCB on this train. Uh, just yet because of this in uh, the tutorial. But the maximum speed limit is 60. According to the signal. And yes, it's just passed to 60. Close the doors. From here, you will be guided to the next station stop, Munchen Lai. This multiple unit features a combined power brake handle called a master controller. It is currently in the brake range. Move the handle past the off position and into the power range to get moving. I closed the doors with the tab menu, so it didn't pick up on that one. Let's go. Coasting is a method used to efficiently maintain speed and reduce engine stress and maintenance requirements. Keeping to the speed limit is important. If you begin to overspeed, move the master controller into the braking range to slow down. But not yet. My speed limit is 120. Uh, this icon also has changed, it's now blue ball and it seems a yellow one when it's stationary or braking. Maximum speed 100 kilometers, we have a uh, slowdown. Uh, it's, it's, it stays yellow if we're uh, braking. a small amount of brake force to achieve a comfortable, safe stop. Uh, I've heard on the stream that this train does have terrible brake. So you need to uh, plan ahead and uh, start your braking early but also uh, it seems that on the s-bahn line 
you need really need to drive these units hard to uh, to keep up, keep up to the schedule but uh, of course my dutch uh, coming into the station at 30 40 kilometers is back again so uh, you can also see there is lcb on the track and lcb signage uh, to, to our uh, our right uh, that is used to uh, uh, so that the trains can run closer together. You can actually get into the station while the other one has just left or is leaving. That is awesome. Take a quick glance of the platform to ensure all is safe. Then unlock the doors. Well, just open the doors. Ooh. Hello fine people, how are you doing today? Uh, people, there is an actual train behind you. It's time to get going. Set the doors to locked. Well. Operate the train to the next stop at Ausberg Hochstall without instruction this time and see how you get on. Wait, what? They said Munchen Oxel or something something else, but they say he Munchen Hirschgart. I don't know. I don't mind. I think it's the last one, but we will uh, maximum power. One point two kilometers left. Hmm. I don't see the braking, uh, the emergency braking. Have they removed the emergency braking step from the tutorials? So we will see. Normally you would uh, acknowledge that uh, that sign. Uh, everything night and below should be uh, acknowledged on PCB. At least that is uh, what we. Uh, at least what I've heard from uh, train drivers. Uh, that they most of the time do. Which in Hirschkarten. Maar de dame toont her nächste station München Hirschkart een exit of een afstieg in vaarrichtung rechts of links rechts. And we stopped. Unlocking the doors. Ooh, we stopped just in time. Need to take a screenshot of that. Squeaky horn. Good work. That concludes all of the basics of operating this train. Well, let's see how we did. Ooh, gold medal. Level 2, level 4, 2, 3. And half striker, level 3. Or oh, level 2, 4, 2, 3. Okay. Well, we still have one tutorial to go. Uh, let's try that one, which is the ICE. Uh, tutorial it's found also in the uh, hopjes trekken uh, tutorial of uh, journey mode this one going to double click because it's not the next one beautiful screenshot be a photo three ic3 introduction
Welcome to driver training here at Auschberg Main Station. Today, Ooh. you'll be learning to drive this BR403 high-speed train in Intercity Express White. This brief introduction will cover critical driving controls and passenger operations. Climb aboard to get started. Ausburg. All right, then. Before we get on, uh, let's ju just take a quick glance at the, the route map. Ausburg here in the north, the ICE and RE services, s services, and you have Munchen around here. So, uh, pretty uh, pretty nice uh, uh, route. It's not too long, but good enough. Get on the train. Then climb up to the steps. Yes, of course. Sit Take in the driver's seat. Driver's seat. Position. This is where you'll be spending most of your time. Before everything gets locked, let's uh, turn on the lights. The reverser determines the direction of travel. Or what? Set the exterior lights for the expected operation. Take a quick glance of the platform to ensure all is safe before unlocking the doors. They recently implement for recently they implemented the green uh, the green banner uh, instead of the the red one uh, to uh, let them know uh, to let the people know that they are driving green green energy. This train has a maximum speed limit of 330 kilometers. It can only drive in Germany. This version. Get going. Set the doors to lock. Let's this time use the button. For this introduction, you'll be driving along the high speed line towards München. After departure, you'll be taught how to activate the AFB control system. After departure? The train Whoa. is now ready to depart. Release the brakes and apply a small amount of power to get moving. Normally you would have a PCB uh, in monitoring mode, uh, so you have the maximum speed limit of 45, most people use 40, uh, to just to stay safe, and then uh, as this is a green signal you can release, normally, so uh, you can drive up to the maximum line speed, which in this case it seems it's about 60. And it's going to increase in just a few moments. Just gone up to 90. Coasting is a method used to efficiently maintain speed and reduce motor stress and maintenance requirements. To engage the AFB system, ensure the throttle is not in use. I know. Move the AFB lever to the indicated speed and then navigate to the appropriate screen on the multifunction display. Always set the AFB to maximum before enabling. Activate AFB as indicated. You can now apply full power using the throttle and the AFB system will operate the train to the set speed. To change the train speed, simply adjust the position of the AFB lever. Go 
going to set it to 150. Uh, normally, uh, LCB it seems to have activated normally around here. Uh, otherwise, uh, if you set the EFB to maximum, it will only display the maximum speed that this train uh, is capable of because of the, the line restriction. 7 kilometers to kissing. And we can go to the line speed maximum of 230 kilometers in just 2.2 kilometers. I need to restart that one, and that one is alive. In a lot of uh, Dutch routes, Dutch freeware routes for the trains in Classic uh, is available uh, uh, on either Dutch Sims or other uh, Dutch websites. Uh, most of the time routes will need the uh, München Augsburg route as their requirement. So most Dutch people already have this add-on in Train Sim Classic. But uh, it's also great to see that this one is also now available on, uh, yeah, train sim, uh, train sim world. Let's go to uh, 130, and then let's enjoy the train. With a screenshot, of course. You have the uh, the high speed line on the left we're driving on. To disengage the AFB system, ensure the throttle is not in use. Set the throttle on off. Well, <sighs> dang it! Why? Deactivate AFB as in. Bring this train to a stop as indicated. Oh, yeah, one kilometer left, so let's uh, break. Well, let's forget that stop. <laughs> I was just enjoying the drive and missed it by 100 meters. Good work. That concludes all of the basics of operating this train. Well then. Ooh, achievement unlocked Master of Munchen. Still all the gold. I'll take it. Well, let's get back to the main menu, and then, uh, yeah, I hope you all have enjoyed this, yeah, well, first look of Trains in World Hauptstrecke München Augsburg, and I hope you all uh, enjoyed the round, if you bought the round, uh, if you didn't bought the round yet, because you are waiting for, uh, for a sale and so on, of course, it's always your choice, um, I'm just happy there uh, are more and more DLC available uh, as you can see uh, there are a lot of roads available the Bekelu, uh, the Schnellfahrstrecke, Sam Patch uh, as the base routes you can also have the preserve route collection with the Tees Valley the East Coastway, uh, the new Isle of Wight DLC uh, the Rapid Transit, the Leer Mees Pessebaan, Hauptstrecke, München Augsburg, Hauptstrecke, Rijn Ruhe Ruizik Noord, Peninsula Corridor, Oakville, and West Somerset, and the Rhine Austin. So there are a lot of routes already available. 
uh, of course your route has your medals uh, which you can uh, which you received and of course all the trains that are available in this game uh, currently well uh, as i said i hope you all enjoy this uh this brief introduction as they said it's a brief introduction to uh, to the route uh, there will be more videos available uh i think most of them will be streams uh on my twitch channel and they will also be uploaded to youtube later so you can also watch it after the fact um well as i said hope you enjoy the the new route that is available for trains of world and i will see you all back in the next video have a blessed day goodbye